get underway in this fifth round FA Trophy tie. Your uh, referee for today is Daniel Middleton. And McQuilkin will start us off. There's the signal from referee Middleton. McQuilkin plays it back. And we're underway in the fifth round of the FA Trophy. Hereford at home to Leamington. Yeah. Camwell to take then. And he floats it in. Good livery. Grimes couldn't quite get there. Digi going to fall back to Grimes. Pollock on the edge of the area. He couldn't quite get involved. Pollock goes down and there's going to be a free kick in a great position for Hereford. Right on the edge of the area. Ben Pollock went down. Not sure what he's quite clutching, but he, he definitely went down. We'll have another look at that. And ooh, that's Possibly. rattled one against the post in an earlier round against Nantwich. Could he this time get it in underneath the bar? Camwell to take. And it's a oh. great goal. Top corner. He can get it in underneath the bar this time. And in the fifth round of the trophy, Chris Camwell puts the balls in front against Leamington. What a brilliant strike. It um it just dipped into the postage Perfectly stamp. Perfectly hit, wasn't it? We'll watch goal. it again here. But it's right into the top corner of the net. The goalkeeper had no chance whatsoever in that sort of angle. Pick that one out. Bobby Dazzler, you could not get it closer to the top corner if you tried. Brilliant effort by the left-footed Camwell. And the Bulls have the edge. Four minutes into the FA Trophy. Nope. Leamington have a corner. It shouldn't have really happened. It's going to be... An outswinger in towards one of those aerial targets. Anderson it was that got up for it, but Brandon Hall was right behind it. And he looks to set Owen Evans off early. Owen Evans, good touch. There's a run through the middle of McQuilkin. All right to the right of Carl Finn. Carl Finn it is instead. Who's he got ahead of him? He's got two or three ahead. He cuts in. It's deflected. It, oh, and it just it's a great save, actually, by Jake Weaver. Cuts onto his left foot. And uh, it dipped and dived. It was deflected. And uh, Weaver had to readjust himself. Edwards is going to flick it on again. And uh, Anderson backs into Digi and really looked for the foul there. I thought he, he sort of backed yeah. into Digi and uh, knew exactly what he was doing. Very, very well played by him. Uh, going to be floated in. I think the, the, the men have gone up from the back. It is floated in and it goes all the way through. And it's a great save by Brandon Hall. I think it was the captain, Jack Edwards, who's got onto the end of it and uh, just couldn't quite anger it. It, it was towards... Hall was diving away to his right, and it was a good save by Hall. We'll see it again. So, yeah, I think it was. And Hall just palms it away and out for a corner. Too much in that. Simeon May Someone seems to get... Someone sniped him from the crowd. <laughs> Simeon May <laughs> seem to get most of the ball as Carl Finn has a run at Morley. Carl Finn shoots, and it's straight down the throat of Weaver. He can uh, gather comfortably. Presumably Meredith, the right winger, is uh, slotting in at right back. It's floated in. Pollock gets there. Pollock, Oops. couldn't good angled header. And it's well saved by Weaver. Dived down to his left. And uh, Pollock got good leverage on the header. I don't doubt, but that, that's accuracy. the main readjustment. He, he looks to have adjusted well to the physicality. And physicality is physicality at every level. But he uh, his actual fitness looks to be holding up quite well, which is impressive, like you say. Carl Finn's got it now on that right-hand side. A couple of step-overs, looks to take it past his man, crosses it in over McQuilkin. Oh, and Evans will strike it, but it's just past the post. That was a great chance, probably the... Uh, well, definitely the best chance of the uh, second half for the Bulls. Good few step-overs by Carl Finn out on that right-hand side. Completely uh, uh, outwitted Josh Martin. Check themselves back in this uh, spell of play now. The, letting Leamington have a few chances as it opens up just in front of the defence. Back into Junior English again. He lays it off and it's a strike from distance, but just off the edge of the area, Anderson's left-footed strike just up over the bar and sails away into the meadow end. Owen Evans turns back infield, goes past one, goes past two. He's got Camwell on the left-hand side running past him. He's got Butlin infield. He's got Carl Finn out to the right. He finds two of them. Then Hodgkiss on the overlap, pulls it back, but just couldn't quite find Owen Evans. Might fall to Carl Finn. McQuilkin on the edge of the area. Finds Camwell. Camwell flicks it to the outside of his boot, but just couldn't quite keep it on target. Good bit of play there by the Bulls. Moved it and uh, shipped it through the players. Got a goal back for them uh, at St James's Park. It's floated in by Meredith, and it is a good delivery. And they just couldn't keep their header down. Carl Morrison. Leamington, therefore, have to click long. 
McQuilkin had a bit more time than... Oh, sorry, um, Hodgkiss had a bit more time than he thought. McQuilkin's got it now after good work by Butlin. McQuilkin plays it out towards Owen Evans on this left-hand side, comes in towards the box, step over, has a shot, but just never quite gets the bend on it. And uh, it's a long way off target. They lose possession. Leamington come away with it. And they have a strike from distance, and it's a good save by Brandon Hall down to his right-hand side. And it was a strong strike by... Uh, uh, Leamington uh, midfielder just couldn't quite stay in there. I thought he was going to draw the foul in then, yeah. but then he might, he might have been able to do that. Another ball in behind. Grimes goes up for it. He doesn't quite get there, but it sails on through to Brandon Hall, the Hereford keeper, and he sits on it. Referee checks his watch. There surely it. can't be much time left from a Hereford point of view, and that's it. That's it. Hereford go through in the FA Trophy. Those that are in the ground, and there's not many of us, muted cheers. And it, there's notably Butlin, who falls to the floor. He must be absolutely shattered, bless him. He's worked his heart out. But there is the man of the match, Kennedy Digi, who uh, picks up another man of the match. And, uh, Hereford are into the quarterfinals. Two are, games from Wembley. Uh, Hereford are indeed into the quarterfinals, Ben. And you're right, two games from Wembley and even better, they've yet to concede in the competition. Testimony to Kennedy Digi, the man of the match, and the rest of the Hereford defence.